Hey guys, my name is Robert. Just want to say thanks for coming to this channel. Uh, if you haven't been here before, check out my videos and see if you like anything. Um, I do a few things. I do uh, family vlogs with my family. I talk about this truck, the 2017 Toyota Tacoma. I do a lot of DIYs and reviews. And um, so that's what leads me today. It's actually the day after Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday and I got lucky. I was able to buy everything I wanted online, which wasn't too much because um, I got a baby coming, so I just don't have money for that. And my wife, uh, she's really pregnant, and we're gonna have her baby like really soon. So uh, she didn't feel like shopping, which is a good thing for me. I didn't want to go shopping on at the stores, so um, I'm out here. Got a few minutes to spare before the sun goes down, and um, it was actually a request by uh, a few people. Um, Actually, actually, I had a request by several um, subscribers saying, Hey Rob, you know, we always off-road, um, you're always off-roading, how do you clean your engine bay? Well, I'll give you a little secret, I haven't cleaned the engine bay for a while. So uh, I'm going to clean it today, see if we get it clean, and uh, give you some tips about that. Hopefully, it'll come out pretty good. Um, this truck actually was at SEMA a few weeks ago, which was one of my greatest... Uh, car guy, truck guy achievements. I mean, honestly, it was a great experience. And along with um, being at SEMA, they actually washed my truck. I drove it to Las Vegas and back, but they actually washed my truck. However, they didn't clean the engine bay. And that's okay, because we need to pop the hood. So I'd like to show you how bad my engine bay looks now. It's been a while. So first thing you gotta do is pop the hood. Let's take a look. Be ready for the shock here, okay, guys? Let's see, let's go heavy. Let me grab it. Oh. All right, you guys ready? There it is. <laughs> so um, I haven't washed this engine bay for a minute. Um, you can see how filthy it is. That is filthy. Real filthy. Uh, it rained last couple days, by the way, so that's why it's dripping. But uh, yeah, you can see it's it's been a minute, so I've been neglecting this. Like everything is dirty, dirty, dirty here. So um, let's clean it up a little bit. See if we can make it look a little nicer. That dirty. All right, man. It's getting cold, and I got this uh, sweatshirt on just for this. So. Um, you can see how dirty it is, like I said. Um, I haven't washed it easily over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I went through a couple places that were dusty and dirty, and that's what you get. So I uh, got some products from Amazon. Uh, I wanna try this, pretty cheap. If you wanna see where you get this, uh, I put the link below. Spray Nine, um, good reviews on it. Really cheap, I think it was four bucks, three bucks. So. Engine degreaser, uh, cleaner it says, actually kills mold and mildew too. So if you get mold and mildew, it works. I love this stuff, 303 protectant. Help, I'm gonna put that on after I treat the plastic. And uh, my brush, you can use a toothbrush or detail brushes or something, but make sure you get some brushes if you want. I'm gonna try it without, or I might just agitate it without. So we'll see here. Um, you also wanna hose. Um, Make sure with the hose though, you want to run it very low pressure. You don't want to put a lot of high pressure because that can get uh, water into um, the harnesses or engine harnesses or other uh, things you don't want, fuses, fuse boxes, just areas that are, are not, you know, supposed to be wet. Um, I know people take this off-road, they soak the engines, they have those snorkels and they do that, but you know, the less you do it, the less you're exposed to liquid, the better. Um, also, never clean your truck or your car with a hot engine. You're gonna run it cool to cold. I haven't ran this today. It's 57 degrees right now. It's actually cold, like I said, for SoCal, that is. And um, I'm gonna clean it that way first and see how it goes. Um, some people actually suggest, I remember old days, getting plastic wrap and covering things with plastic. Uh, you can do that. Some people will disconnect the battery. Some people will uh, cover alternators or other um, electronic parts with plastic wrap 
you can do that to be safe. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to avoid it. Hopefully I will be fine. So I will give you a disclosure. Um, don't copy me exactly or I can't guarantee the output. I think it'll be fine. I cleaned this truck without covering anything before and it ran fine and it's been running fine um, 25,000 miles ago. So it should be good to go. So uh, let's go over here. I'll flip it around and show you what I'm going to do again. Do I need to shake this up or anything? Directions for use. Uh, wipe thoroughly. Oh, one thing I'm gonna do too before I forget, because uh, that stuff it says watch out, right? It's pretty chemically strong. Have some kind of goggles, so make sure you got goggles. Doesn't that look pretty handsome, right? Yeah. So that spray is okay, and you can see if I get a little wider soak. Yeah, let's go a little bit fatter. All right, so this stuff's getting on my hands right now. Um, it's pretty slippery, so you might wear gloves, but it's already too late. So I'm just gonna spray around. It says not to let the stuff dry, so don't let it dry. I'm actually getting tired pumping. Yeah. See, that's why some people will say cover the wires because you see that? You're spraying right. I shouldn't spray right on top, but you know, you can see the wires. Um, you can see the wires exposed here. And some people will say that, you know, you don't want um, water, especially water pressure, high water pressure into that. So just FY. I think I degreased where I could. That was pretty quick. Got my holes right there. Again, we're gonna put it really low. Um, not a lot of water pressure. Actually, story on this one is that the holes or the gun is stuck, so I can't really take it off. Yeah. So, <laughs> Or I would just do a steady stream. So I'm just gonna run it real low like this. Clean that stuff off my hands. So again, we don't want a lot of pressure. We just wanna break up the dust, clean off the dirt. I haven't agitated it, like I said. I'm just curious how it's gonna work. Doing pretty good. That's good. Yeah, no, my yard's all messed up. <laughs> Ooh, wrong way. Nice. Anyways. All right, what we can do now is uh, we can let this dry or we can dry it off by hand. I'm gonna dry a little bit. So if I scrubbed a little bit more, I would've got this better, but I didn't. Okay, this is not the same as the outside. Um, so we can wipe this down like so. Another thing I like to do is I might cheat a little bit. I got this turbo dryer thing. So I'm actually gonna use that and fire it up. You'll see what I'm talking about.
All right. Um, I use this to accelerate the drying time. You could get a leaf blower or you could just let it air dry. I'm wiping down. So now I'm gonna use my 303 just to get the plastics. Uh, make sure you don't do anything funny and spray the belts. Uh, don't get don't get the belts, the serpentine belt here. Let me make sure I point it out for you. See that belt right there? Let's get it closer. You don't want to spray things like the belt. You know, you don't want anything slick on those parts. So don't spray anything down there and leave that alone. We're just kind of doing this top area to, to make it look a little nicer. So I'm just going to get here. I'm actually going to get a rag and then um, cover that. But uh, like I said, don't don't get on the the belt. You know, do not if you get on the belt. That's a bad move. So uh, I'm not going to spray this engine area here. I mean, I could get this hose if I want to. Um, I could get that hose right there. Who's opening the door? Hi, Joanna. Huh? Help you with what? Huh? What do you got? I oh, your nail? Oh, what happened to your nail? How'd you get a nail come off? You broke your nail? Why do you have a nail? <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that? A, oh, that's a sticker thing, huh? Oh, I thought it was a nail because it matched your color. You want me to put it on your finger? Where? Right here? I don't know if I can fit. How's that? It's good? Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, she's cute. <clears throat> she knows how to lock doors. I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just gonna get like uh, just the holes here. What I like about the 303 is um, it doesn't suck up a lot of dust like uh, other products. So that's what I like about it. Um, all right. I use this. It's kind of dirty, but yes. Yeah. What? It's sticky that. Oh, very cool. Purple sticky. It is purple. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Just show me. So I'm just gonna use this sponge thing. It's a little dirty, like I said, but. It works. Not bad, right? Distribution. So it's not perfect, uh, but it's better. I think it's better. I think you guys can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. What do you guys think? Let's get that. So, all right, guys, um, that's about it. Uh, if you want to clean up some more, get in there with nitty gritty. Use a brush, old toothbrush. Get in those crevices in there. Um, if you really want to want to get it clean, I myself didn't care too much. Obviously, if I'm gonna show the hood, because I'm gonna have some products to show off, like at SEMA next year, maybe. Uh, I don't have any have anything to really show in here this year. So uh, I can say that it definitely looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. So um, that's about it. I like, like I said, uh, that degreaser is really cheap. I, would, I should have agitated some spots a little bit more, but I think it did pretty well for what it was. You use low pressure water, never put high pressure water. You can cheat a little bit, use that turbo dryer I had, a leaf blower, or let it air dry a little bit. Um, even start it up after cleaning everything and drive it around really, really quick to kind of shake out some water. I think it looks good. I think I actually did a pretty good job for being pretty quick uh, video. I think I spent 20 minutes doing it. So, okay. Again, uh, any questions, comments, post below. Peace out, guys.